understand you're charged with unauthorized use of a vehicle, that's a state jail felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, Satisfied with the way you've been represented? Um, yes, ma'am. I just have a question. Just um, one second. Yeah, Are you satisfied? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that the defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, punishment is assessed at six months in the state jail facility, and there are no applications. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Do you have questions about that? Um, I have 106 days credit time, so and I was a trustee. So um, how long will I have to do at the state jail? The whole six months? All right, let me explain that this to you. So I usually give everybody credit for any time that they've served. Right. So you'll receive credit for any time that you serve. Now, the fact that you're telling me you are a trustee at the Bear County Jail, yes, ma'am. That's something that the jail does. I'm not in charge of giving you three for one or two for one. Yes. So what will end up happening is if I follow your agreement when you're sentenced, the sheriff's department will show how much good time you have. Yes, ma'am. The only thing I'm going to be able to give you credit for is whatever flat time you've done. Right now. Yes, All right. Ma'am. You have any questions? Yes, no, ma'am. All right. Defense, is that the plea? It is, Your Honor. State, is that the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, State, do you have any evidence to support the defendant's plea? Yes, Your Honor. The State offers Exhibit 1, the defendant's waivers and stipulate from evidence, as well as the discovery and offer for this case. Any objections? Uh, no objection, Your Honor. However, the police report seems to be rather lengthy and includes other defendants, I believe, besides them. Right. All right. So any objection? No objection. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty, and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, ma'am. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? I encourage the court to follow the plea bargain beyond that. All right, so excuse me. You all are, are right behind the court reporter. She's trying to hear. That's okay. Yes. Um, I'd ask the court to give my client credit for the time that he has served and uh, to have the court take into consideration as much as possible the fact that he is a trustee in the back end jail. Why are you taking vehicles that don't belong to you? No. Um, don't. Here's the thing. I've read the police report. Please do not come with me with nonsense that there is some random person driving around in a Dodge Durango that you don't know who stops and asks you for directions and you get in and the next thing you know, this random person that you don't know is saying, hey, let me loan you my Dodge Durango, uh, Durango complete stranger. So why are you doing this? I just wasn't thinking, I just was not being stupid. Wrong place, wrong time. No, it's not wrong place, wrong time. When people commit crimes, they are not at the wrong place at the wrong time. Maybe it's a, a, an opportunity presents itself. And the person who's in the, um, I don't understand. And, and mind you, people will say, ah, Judge Boyd, um, that's the complainant. But then I don't understand why a complainant is going to a hotel, meeting up with a person she doesn't know, and then uh, letting them go in their vehicle, then come back in their vehicle, then they sleep and they wake, wake up and the person is gone. I'm assuming that was you. But how old are you? I'm 23 now. And where are your parents? My parents, they're out there. Out where? I was, like working and doing their thing. But I was just kind of really doing my own thing. While you're, you're doing your own thing is crime. That's a question. Why is your own thing criminal activity? I don't have no answer to that. So what are you planning on doing with the rest of your life? Getting my life together. How? By changing my life around. How? Going to go get a job and doing the right way. How far did you go in school? I finished school. And so, and then what did you do? Just, Just let my life go to the streets. Why? Here's the thing this is a conviction, it's a felony conviction. So now certain parts of your life are going to be limited because you decided to do something uh, silly instead of getting a job. If you want a vehicle, get a job. Yes, 
there are plenty of Dodge vehicles out there. And guess what? After the warranty runs off, when, when you get a brand new car and you buy the warranty, which I never do, but when you buy the warranty, you know when your car is going to break down? Right after that warranty expires. And then guess what? Pretty soon you're going to need another vehicle. So you just semi ruin your life so that you could have a vehicle that doesn't belong to you instead of getting a job and working if you want that specific vehicle. Do you understand? Yes, no if you don't change your ways, you're going to find yourself living in and out at the prison and you just made your life harder than it has to be. I always tell everybody life is so simple, but people make it hard. Yes. If everybody would follow the rules and if everybody would be nice to each other, we wouldn't be here. Now, what question did you want to ask me about your sense? Um, so <laughs> will I have to go down to the state jail or possibly I have to do the whole six months? I mean, you get credit for any time that you served. I've explained to you, I can only give you credit for the day to day time that you served. Right. So I'll just, okay, I, I see what you're saying. All right. Does he have any priors? Does anybody know? Uh, he does, Judge. All right. And what are his priors? I believe it was a less than a gram conviction. And a few other cases taking into consideration, including other unauthorized use of vehicles. You still, you haven't learned anything. Hopefully, you've learned something now. So, a uh, six month state jail facility, give you credit for any time served. I'm going to show you what's entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? You want to come around? <laughs> Sorry. No, stop. What are you doing? Do you see you're crossing the line? Look down. Do you see that? All you have to do is walk around it. I'm this sorry, way. you're all this way. way. Come this way. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cisneros. <laughs> Because this is a plea bargaining, oh, you need to give it to him. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. Good luck to you. You better do better. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself living at the prison. Yes, All right. You. Thank you, though. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, do we